Okay, uh, look, I decided to issue this short video sessions. Let's call them video blogs. I'll put them on YouTube. I'll uh, create a Mac 2100 YouTube channel and so that you can find them all in one place on YouTube. So today I'll be talking about the assignment because the assignment time is coming. Uh, if you go to uh, Blackboard, and I'm, that's what I'm doing, I'm going to bring the screen here, uh, Launchpad, that's the, that's the Launchpad, and you can see that the assignment is due on 6th of October, 5 p.m. So, it is a bit over a month. So what is in the assignment one? You all, you all have received your templates. So assignment number one home, if you click on here, you'll see what you need to do in assignment. So what you need to do is to design the following two-stage gearbox for an OEM. You don't care for whom, but your task is to design a two-stage gearbox. There are certain uh, limitations. Uh, one of them is the distance between input and output. There is a certain specification for that. And that's in your assignment template. Assignment template is uh, something like this. So this is the, I put an example, I uploaded an example file as if for an imaginary student named myself. Let's open this. Bring it here. It is it open it on another screen. So that's the assignment one gearbox design. So this is what you fill in as your design. So I'll in this one I'll just start on table one. Okay? On table one. There are one, two, three, four, five cells you have to fill. Anything in color, you have to put something in there. So you're told that your gear type is spur gear. Your bearing type is deep uh, groove ball bearing. Bearing seat fit, fit type is K8, K6, and you'll see what it means in a couple of lectures. Your pressure angle is this. Your gearbox is a commercial enclosed unit. Power transmitted for this one is 167 kilowatts. It's going to be different for you. Motor shaft speed, again the same. It will be different for you. Nominal output speed, plus and minus 5%, because it is impossible to get exactly the same output speed because the gears only have integer number of teeth. And then you have the input drive roughness profile, which is an electric motor, so it will be uniform. Load roughness profile, moderate shock. This could be different with different people. Gear steel designation, so that's your gear material, 6150 or QT 400. Gear steel grade, grade 1. As you know from the lecture, that grade 1 is the default, really, gear material. Uh, you don't really... I don't advise you, you're not advised to use grade 2 material because that really is higher grade applications like in aerospace or even, you know, space applications because they are expensive. So we'll stick to grade grade 1. In fact, having said that, uh, it, 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 must, it might be possible that some students may get grade 2. I don't know. I, I don't think so, but I, uh, let's say, let's keep it open. Gear material hardness, true hardened. There is a yellow thing, so that you have to specify that. For what? For the gear steel designation. Okay? So let's say, let's, let me make that smaller, so, so that I can have some writing place here. So your gear steel designation is, maybe put that also smaller, because it really obliterated my Excel file. So make, this, make it like this. So gear let's get this pen 
So what do you have? The gear you have, I have in this example is gear is equal to six line five or oil quenched and tempered, so it is quenched in oil and then tempered at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You know that from a question test one. Okay, so using this, you're going to convert this to HP gear, which is the name of the parameter in your Excel sheet. This one. Okay, so that's the uh, that's what you'll do, and the rest are given to you if you go through this table. Acme quality number is A7 for this example. Shaft steel designation is given. Shaft surface condition is ground. Key key steel designation is this. Operating temperature is zero to 120. Number of teeth on the input gear is given. That will be different for different people, and the separating distance between input and output shafts. That's here the distance that you have to maintain between the uh, input and output shafts on the gearbox. Okay, let's stop here.